Hi everyone, today we will review the Prequent integration. Prequent's integration with DealCloud is a powerful integration for both investment teams and investor relations professionals. For institutional investors that are investing into different GP funds, they have the ability to pull in basic firmographic and contact information for different fund managers that they're evaluating. Here within the platform, I can navigate to different dashboards that show us the respective coverage that we might have of different managers within the database. Here I can see details regarding who internally covers a relationship with the call out group. Let's go there and see the information we're pulling in from Prequent through the integration. As a part of our evaluation of the call out group, we want to see the external data coming in from Prequent. On the left hand side, I can navigate to Prequent and see different information that can be disseminated across all of DealCloud's reports and dashboards. This, is, this data is not limited or restricted to the frequent dashboard shown in our fund to fund demo environment. Here within the demo environment, I can see with frequent data, we're pulling in basic firmographic information like website, address, employee count, business description. I also have the ability to sync contacts into the database. I see any contact that maybe already exists in DealCloud in the CRM, but I also have the ability to pull in additional contacts if I want to automate their creation within the platform. This data is refreshed overnight, so as contacts and company data changes in Prequent, it is reflected in DealCloud the very next day. As I scroll down a little further, I can see more information describing this GP or investment manager. I can see their private equity preferences or investment preferences across other asset classes, including private debt, real estate, and infrastructure. I can see how many funds they have in market, their estimated dry powder, maybe some of the investment criteria regarding the portfolio company, EBITDA, annual revenue, or the transaction sizes they're willing to do. I'm able to see not only some of this quantitative information, but also maybe more of the qualitative information that describes the type of industries or geographies that they invest in. I can click on any of these data points and I can not only directly edit it given I have the permission, but I can data audit the information so I have the ability to see what data provider do we get this information from? Is this our own proprietary knowledge? If not, let's display what's coming in through the frequent integration. Not only can I visualize here this information that we're pulling in for the fund manager regarding their investment preferences, but by virtue of collecting their investment preferences and frequent classifications as an investment firm, we can track similar fund managers with maybe a similar investment criteria or thesis. Maybe they have a similar size regarding the total staff or their main strategy. By virtue of pulling in the address of the headquarters, we can surface a map and maybe other nearby firms that are in the same MSA region. As I scroll up, I can leverage the search bar. And now let's look at the frequent integration through the lens of an investor relations professional, where in the same way I use frequent to evaluate this fund manager, we can use frequent to evaluate a potential LP or maybe an existing investor within one of our funds. The frequent integration is immensely valuable for fund managers that are looking to fundraise. They're able to leverage Prequent's database to search for different prospective LPs that fit their fund thesis. And they're also able to pull in other information regarding the contacts that work at the prospective LP. Here I can see all the different individuals that Prequent tracks at CalPERS. I see what asset classes they're focused on or where they're headquartered and some of their contact information. I can use this information for email outreach if I want to leverage Dispatch, DealCloud's marketing engine. As I scroll down further, I can see what are the current allocation details for this investment firm and what are their target allocations so that as we suspect this LP to grow their allocation into real estate or alternatives, we can nurture that account and make sure we're top of mind. As I scroll down a little further, I have that overall view across everything they're doing different asset classes, including private equity, debt, 
real estate infrastructure. If I scroll down, I see those investment preferences again. But from the perspective of an LP, do they invest in first-time funds? Do they co-invest? Do they have any manager requirements in terms of socially responsible investments? And as I scroll down below, I see what are their plans for the next 12 months, given frequent is collecting this data. I'm showing a lot of this from the perspective of one LP, CalPERS, or one fund manager, the call-out group. Here within the tool section, I can access advanced search where I can actually leverage DealCloud's screening portal within Prequin. Within the advanced search data cortex tab, I can go to the Prequin section and select whether I want to search through companies or contacts. As I'm looking through the database of Prequin and looking for companies and fund managers or investors to pull into the database, easy for me to look at all the additional column headers that we're pulling in from Prequin, every field and data point. And I can edit those filters so that if I want to see every investment firm in a certain city with a certain investment preference or criteria, easy for me to select that classification or that filter and upload it into the platform. I can apply multiple filters at once. It's easy for me to say, show me everything within New York. Here are all the different fund managers, and it shows me which fund managers are already within the platform. This concludes the demo. Thank you.